What is up guys, Berserk Titan 99 here and welcome back to another video and on today's video we're going to be discussing the things that I'm looking forward to the most in Shadow and Bone Season 2. Alright, so before we get started, I'm going to give you a quick little summary about Shadow and Bone Season 2. Alright, so Shadow and Bone Season 2 is based on the second book of the Shadow and Bone series called Siege and Storm, just like how season one of the show is based on the first book of the same name. And yeah, that's basically the little bit of summary for you guys. And yeah, and now the event we've been waiting for, the things that I'm looking forward to the most in Shadow and Bone, Season 2. Alright, one of the things I'm looking forward to the most is how powerful, like, how powerful the Darkling is going to be. Like, at the end of Season 1 of Shadow and Bone, the Darkling comes out of the fold with his army of dark smoke things. I know they have a name in the books, but I just forgot what they are, apparently. And once the Darkling came up, came out of that, and I was like, dang, bro, dang. And I, I can't wait to see how powerful and evil the Darkling is going to become and He's going to give Alina Starkov a hard time, kind of like how he kind of gave her a hard time in the books. And he's going to show up in like, I, I don't know, psychosis visions or like some of those psychosis dreams that Alina has. And yeah, the Darkling is going to give Alina Starkov a hard time. And I'm sure Ben Barnes will do an amazing job portraying that and yeah another thing that i'm looking forward to the most are is nikolai tolia and tamar so if you don't for those who don't know spoilers for the second book in the beginning of the second book nikolai is known as Sturmhond, and Sturmhond's a pirate captain who sails on the Volk, Volkvani, which is the ship's name, but later, after Sturmhond, Tolia, and Tolia, Tamar, Alina, and Mao, and I think a few other crew members escape from Volkvani because it was under the, well, control of the of the Darkling at that time, and yeah, after they escaped, Sturmhan revealed himself to be Prince Nikolai, and if you don't know who that is, he's one of the princes of Ravka, and I can't wait to um, see how they do the Sturmhan Nikolai transition. I also can't wait to see how they do the reveal of that and in some point in the book Alina Starkov also escaped from the fold and and is getting quite a lot of buzz so Nikolai for his royal status like pretends to pretends to marry Alina and yeah I can't wait to see how they do that storyline and i'm and i'm also looking forward to like how they do tolia and tamar like they are really interesting characters in the books like i can't wait to see how i can't wait to see how like netflix does with them in the show and yeah overall i'm looking forward to seeing how they do with Nikolai, Tolia, and Tamar. Alright, so another thing that I'm looking forward to the most is 
Alina and Mal's relationship because, like, at that point when Alina and Nikolai were pretending to be boyfriend and girlfriend, soon being married, Mal got a little jealous of that. And I can't wait to see, like, how that's portrayed. And also, on the topic of Alina and Mal, like, I can't wait to... I can't wait to see how they do with, like, um, Alina's dreams of the Darkling, or more her nightmares of the Darkling, because in the second book, she has nightmares of the Darkling, and, like, I also can't wait to see how, can't wait to see, like, how she does, or how they do with, with that. And, yeah, and I think for the second book, she finds the scales of the, or of one of the sea serpents, and, yeah, and that amplifies her power a lot more. So, be prepared for a battle of dark and light, and, um, yeah, now on the Six of Crows side... Two things that I'm looking I'm gonna look forward to the most. One is how Jesper and Wylan or actually three things. One, how Jesper and Wylan will meet each other. Hopefully it's at that um die tannery that Wylan used to work at and Jesper would come along and meet. Wylan because in the second Six of Crows book when he when when I think I'm not sure who Wylan was talking to about that at that point I think he was talking to Jesper at that point I don't know I don't know but yeah hopefully hopefully Jesper would meet Wylan at that tannery that he used to work at and tell him that Kaz Brecker has a job for him and yeah and um yeah and I think this one's gonna focus on Inej since she kind of has that same faith but I might I might make a prediction guys I might make a prediction at the end or at some point in Shadow and Bone season two Anaj might join the Sold at Soul. If you don't know who they are, they're this they're this group of freedom fighters that are against the Darkling. And and it's led by that um priest guy. I don't know what his name is. If you if one of you guys in the comments can tell me the priest's name that that was um talking to Alina in the First book, put it down in the comments below. That would be a big help. And thank you very much. All right, so. Inej might join the Soul at Soul. Kaz, Jesper, and Wylan might follow her into that. Or they might do their own thing while Inej does her own thing. I don't know. I may be right. I may be wrong. I know I may be right about Inej joining the um, Soul at Soul because the Shadow and Bone show combines two series of the Six of Crows books and the Shadow and Bone books, and they merge that well beautifully. So, yeah. And another thing that I might look forward to the most is like Matthias getting taken to. Hellgate and Nina following Matthias, or not Matthias, um, Nina following the, um, or following the Hellgate guards as she investigates what Hellgate is like, or, yeah, uh, shoot, um, I kind of forgot that one building that Nina works at I don't know guys do me a favor in the comments let me know what that one building 
is in the Six of Crows books that she used to work at before um, the Six of Crows go to Fyrda and and free a shoe scientist. Like, let me know in the comments below what that um, one building is because I seem to have forgotten the name of it. And I've read both of the Six of Crows books. I've read both of those and I forgot what the building is. Oh my god. So hopefully at some point she can go to that place. Hopefully to raise some money to bail out Matthias. And yeah. Thank you all. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe if you're curious. I am currently trying to make it to 50 subscribers. And... Once we get to 50, I'm going to give you guys a house tour, you know, a tour of the house. And yeah, thank you all for watching. Subscribe if you're curious, like the video, comment your thoughts, follow me on Twitter, join me on Discord in the Berserkers Barracks, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!